Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Peters. And I'm Dr. Kathy Bush. And we are the Leadership Doctors. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode, and we hope you enjoy. I'm Dr. Kathy Bush, and I'm one of the leadership doctors. And I'm Dr. Tara Peters, and I'm also one of the leadership doctors. And people ask us all the time why we decided to write the book, The Demotivated Employee, and this really came about as a result of conversations that Kathy and I were having as colleagues at Northwood University. And so as a part of those interactions in MBA programs, but also uh, in consultations with clients and in discussions with colleagues and those who were in leadership positions, this topic of motivation was coming up over and over again. And people were beginning to share with us around how they were noticing that people were losing their motivation at work, how they were unhappy. And we were hearing this so much that we became intrigued and said, OK, we should look to try to better understand this and what's actually going on in the workplace. And so this led us to a path of research. And we identified demotivation as a factor that was actually contributing to what we were hearing in these stories and these experiences uh, that were being shared with us. And we're excited to share this uh, book and the ideas that we've discovered both through our experiences um, as employees and as leaders of other people, as well as our experiences teaching and talking to other folks um, in our consulting businesses and um, uh, our various interactions that we have with people who lead others. And so hopefully you as leaders will get ideas that will help you to do a better job preventing demotivation in your employees and or cleaning it up if, if there is demotivation already going on, helping them get better. Well, I think the first impact that we hope for is that people will stop it <laughs> um, because we know that there's a consequence to demotivation actually happening in the workplace. And so as a part of helping to address that, we really, as Kathy alluded to earlier, really want to help leaders inside of organizations to solve this issue that's coming up with them with employees. We are not cynical, so we don't believe that leaders actually are intentionally engaging in behavior or making decisions that are causing employees to be need to be demotivated um, with purpose, but it's happening. And so we really wanna, uh, first of all, help them to understand how they might be contributing, and then to really put some tools um, into their hands that allow them to really work through the issues that are going on with employees inside of their organization. So again, they can create workspaces that employees are actually motivated in, as opposed to actually losing their motivation as a part of the work that they're doing. If you think about the people that you've worked with um, and the times that you've noticed somebody feeling demotivated, either as a coworker or as the leader of these people, um, the, the instinct we tend to have is just to think that they're flawed in some way. And so that demotivated person, he's dropped the ball or she's lazy or whatever. And so our goal actually is that we'll get people to think about that differently, that we'll get people to recognize that um, the demotivation that's going on probably has a lot of different sources, a lot of different factors, and not all of those factors are um, just simply the individual who has a flaw in some way or a bad attitude. So, uh, so there are a lot of things to think about, and hopefully we will get you uh, thinking about uh, what you can do differently as a leader when you get a chance to read this book.